I'm Scott of Field Service Tech here at Powell. This week's maintenance video will be on stroking a Mason Elan valve. The reason we do this, we want to make sure the controller, the PLC, is talking correctly to the positioner of the Mason Elan valve to put it in the correct position that it needs to be in to get the flows that you need. What you're going to do, you're going to first start out, you're going to grab your flathead screwdriver, a small one, and come to your solenoid. Find the button with a flathead slot, push in, quarter turn, and turn it to lock in that. The solenoid may be not directly attached to your valve. It may be off somewhere else. You just got to have to follow your lines till you can find your solenoid. Also, if the solenoid, some solenoids do not have this bypass button. So what you got to do is you got to take the airline from here, take this airline, and couple them together so you can get the air past the solenoid. Next what you'll do is come to the screen. I am working on the water valve, so I'm going to tap on the, the water valve to open it up. Then I'm going to put it into manual. And down in the CV area, I am going to type in 25. I'm going to come back over here. On the Mason Elan valves, there's a gauge with a yellow dot indicator. And you're going to make sure it, it is on the 25% mark. Next, you're going to go to the 50%. So you're going to hit the CV area again. Type in 50. Come back to the, the gauge again on the Mason Elan valve. Look at it. Make sure it's at the 50% indication. Then you're going to do that for 75 and 100 percent. Next what you'll do is you'll come in and you'll take the CV to 5 percent. And what you do you want to make sure that that 5 percent is just above that first white line. Then you'll remove the air. With this one I can remove the air by just unlocking the solenoid and want to watch the indicator to make sure it closes just a freckle. And now I know that this Mason Neon valve is calibrated correctly. If you have a different positioner than this one, please contact us and we will help you calibrate that. Stay tuned to next week for another maintenance video. Also, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment below for other future ideas of other maintenance videos you would like to see. For more information, please go to our website at powersolutions.com. Thank you.